Hi everyone, it's July 7th, our first Tech Together Tuesday. We talked about organizing your Google Drive and uh, using Google Chrome. So I'm going to try to blitz through uh, both of those things in less than five minutes. We'll see how I do. So um, you have your Google Drive. So key things that you need to know. You can create new folders or you can upload folders that already exist. So you can press on that new button up in the top left hand corner, create a new folder or upload specific individual files or a complete folder. So when you click on this here, it gives you the option for your finder window to find wherever it is that you wanna get that information from. You can organize your folders by name. So I have it organized by name alphabetically, and you can also do it reverse alphabetical if you want, or if you hover over top of the last modified, you can organize it by um, last modified in general. So if you're sharing a document, that would be the last modified anyways, um, or the last modified by you specifically, or the last opened by you. So you can organize by modified. Um, we also have the option here, whoops, just click that on that again. We also have the option to view things a little bit differently. So I'm going to go through some of the settings that we see here. Um, I have my settings icon. The settings icon is similar no matter where you go within the Google environment. It's always that action wheel. I'm going to click on settings and you'll see the settings here. A reminder that we have unlimited storage with our Google account. So you can store anything into your drive and you can put anything into your drive. It doesn't have to be a Google file. Um, there's an option here for converting uploads. If you are adding a lot of Word documents and you want them just to automatically convert into Google documents, you can do that. You can have this checked off here. Otherwise, when you upload a Word document, when you open it up, you'll be prompted to have it transform, uh, have it transform into a Google document, and then you'll have two copies. So you'll have your Word copy of the document and your Docs copy of the document. When you're looking at the density, so how things are laid out, you have three different options, comfortable, cozy, or compact. So choose one of these Cs. I like it as cozy. Um, and then there is also um, your quick access piece. So if you like those little icons, this is using Google's AI. If you like those icons that Google decides is important for you to are that Google decides is important for you to be able to see, you can have that quick access option opened up to you. If you don't want it, you uncheck it and then that piece will go away so you don't see it in the background there. I'll check it off here so you can see what it looks like. All right, so these are the things that Google thinks that I need to work on. So um, summer workshop, you can tell I've been working on that stuff. So that is uh, using the quick access feature. The other thing that you can note is that there are different ways to view your Google Drive. So you can look at things in a grid view or you can look at things in a list view. This is my grid view. You will always see folders and then files. So if I pop into a different folder here, you will see folders at the top and then files underneath. So not everything is as well organized as my top level drive. So this is my drive here. I like it list view. I prefer not to have the quick access turned on. We'll go through that, I'll change that back later on. Okay, so that's Google Drive. Again, questions, please ask. We're gonna hop into Google Chrome. All right, so in Google Chrome, here's what you need to know. When you are in your Chrome browser, which you live in when you're using Google, the dot, 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 the caterpillar or the snowman or whatever it is that you wanna call it, that dot, 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 I'll refer to it as the snowman, is here up in the top right-hand corner. Make sure that you are logged in. So this is going to be managed by metaridge.ca and it needs to be your Google account, your school Google account. So here I am, I'm logged in, I'm going to click on my settings. Um, and in my settings, there are a couple of things that you need to know that are in here that are good for you to know. So you can go through, you have the ability to see all of the passwords that you have ever put into your Google account. So anytime Google saves something, you have your uh, password saved in here. And as long as you know your top level password, so the password to your Google account, you'll be able to access any of these passwords. So that's a good one to know. Um, also means that if anyone else knows your passwords, they'll know all your other passwords. So make sure you keep that private. Uh, the other one that's really good to know is um, you have the option to change themes. If you want to make things fancy, you can make things fancy on here. Um, oh, I'm going to pause this baby. 